I am currently working on a tutorial about how to save time. In the process, I had to edit out some private information. And I want to show you how I do that because I think that they look really well camouflaged. The name was here. The name was here. And the faces is the only one that you can sort of see, but they were here. Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. Let's get started. What I do when I'm trying to cover up information on the screen that I don't want anyone to see is I cover them with boxes. Now, obviously, I'm not going to move the boxes or you'd see what I don't want you to see. But I take a screenshot of my editor. So in this case, this is what my editor looks like. And I do what I call on Windows, snip and cut. Shift Windows S will bring something up and I'm gonna leave it on this rectangular snip and then draw a rectangle and make sure that it is the exact size, including all of this at the bottom. Okay, and then I go back to my blank canvas, which is the video size, and paste it in, right click, replace background. I'm not going to do that because it's already there for me. How did I get it to be so well camouflaged? I made them bright just so that you could see it, but what I do is I make sure I'm in the Chrome browser, I click the color, add a new color, pick a color from the design, and then I grab the color that's right next to it. Click out of it, and it looks great. I do the same thing here. Let's pick a color. I click out of it. It looks great. Let's click this one. Pick a color near it, click out of it. That looks great. Now, it does look a little wonky. If I wanted to, I could probably go like this and size it all the way up, but I think that looks worse. So I make it as small as possible, and that's just to protect a little bit of privacy. So now what I do is I take this, I click on the background and click delete. And now I've got this situation. This is a Canva Pro feature. PNG, transparent background. And then for this one, it's page five. Download. I go to my video editor. I click open. I grab what it is from the downloads folder. And that is what it looks like in my video editor. I use Shotcut, and then I just slide it right on top of where I need to camouflage. And obviously, it just camouflaged right on top. But that's how I do it, and I hope that that helps you. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, make sure that you are subscribed and check out the recommended lessons in the description. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, I am actually currently working on a tutorial.